What's up guys? I am here in Joshua Tree National Park. I just got to the Choya Gardens. Kind of made it a little late, like probably 20 minutes late to for sunset. And gonna look for a place for sunrise actually. I'm gonna stay the night here. I'm actually gonna drive out to Big Bear from Arizona, but I wanted to stop here at Joshua Tree. Uh, I've actually never been here, so it's gonna be just a really quick stop. I wish I had more time to explore, but I'm just gonna come here for sunrise. Um, the sun's gonna be setting this way. So in the morning, I'm going to find a spot probably right around here somewhere that kind of makes sense. It's just there's so many choyas here that it's going to be pretty cluttered and trying to find a, a composition that's kind of simple or uh, but I'm, what I'm really wanting to do is use the light. I'm going to shoot into the sun. Shooting backlit cactus is my favorite. It's absolutely beautiful. These choyas light up. Uh, these are teddy bear choyas and what they do is they light up like crazy like christmas trees all around the outside of them they hold light really well if i'm lucky i'll get some clouds but if not we'll get some really good light like i said backlit choyas are just they're absolutely stunning so i'm gonna do that and then i'm heading up to big bear to shoot for a buddy of mine uh, he's got an adventure clothing company so i'm going up there to shoot a little video do more of like a lifestyle type shoot something a little bit different so i know i've been absent for like the last two months or so kind of took a little bit of a break and now i'm back so i'm gonna have a lot more videos coming up guys so let's scout for a little place for sunrise and find somewhere to sleep <laughs> I just, uh, the Milky Way's out right now, so I parked and I set up my camera. What I did was I stood on top of my Forerunner here with a loom cube and just kind of lifted it up, kind of like a star, like a really bright star, you know, and I held it up kind of like, you know, raising your arm up like you're holding a star or whatever, it's kind of cool. But what I did was I put a light inside my Forerunner, my headlamp, turned it on really low and kind of covered it up so it just had some ambient light inside and wanted to just kind of light it up and then I took another light. So I had like three or four different shots where I lit up the front of the Forerunner without me on top. Then I took a couple different shots at different shutter speeds to kind of just get uh, the inside not blown out. And then another shot with the Milky Way with me standing on top. So uh, just a little bit of experimenting now that the Milky Way was out while my dinner was uh, cooking or uh, what would you call it, boiling or whatever. But uh, anyway, so yeah, it was pretty cool. And here's the I result. May be going, I may be left, I may fall Well, when you're walking around in this part of the country, uh, Arizona, California, when you got a lot of choya cactus, you're going to want to have one of these because you will step in it. And <laughs> I've already stepped in like three different, uh, had big balls of choya stuck to my foot already. So anyway, all right. So now the time lapse is done and I am just set up on my actual shot for sunrise now. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys here. Gonna kind of just fill the entire frame with this cactus. I'm down low to make the cactus seem a little bit bigger. I got one big cactus on one side, kind of framing the left side, and then I got the kind of the same thing on the other side. All these little um, choya balls that are on the ground here are gonna be lit up really nice as soon as that sun pops over the horizon. And we're gonna get some really nice light. There's not a lot of clouds in the sky, which is why I'm kind of down low. Um, it's going to make all these choyas seem a lot taller. It's going to rise to the top of the frame. Going to cover up some of that sky that's going to be just kind of blown out because of, you know, having no clouds. So we're getting some nice color right now. Uh, I really like this shot and kind of where I'm set up. So now I'm just going to wait for the sun to come up. And once that light hits and this all gets backlit, I'm going to take a couple of shots. I'm going to exposure blend because the dynamic range is so crazy, you know, with the front of the cactus going to be in complete shadow. And then the back cactus is going to be lit from the sun, obviously. So I'm going to take several exposures, blend them together in Photoshop. 
and yeah so now we're just waiting for the sun to come up and i'm going to show you guys the result so now we just wait Look at that scene right there. That is beautiful. So I had to move around a little bit. I wasn't happy with that first place. So what I did was I took my camera off the tripod and just kind of walked around so I could see through what focal length I wanted to use. And just kind of walked around and you know moved up and down a little bit just to kind of see what I wanted. Finally found a spot that I liked. Um, I'm at F16 so I can get that nice sun star just as it broke the horizon. Uh, I found, uh, like I said, a really nice cactus that I can use as my kind of my foreground subject. It's very chaotic, just so many just choices everywhere that it's really hard to get a, a composition that really kind of <laughs> has it makes any sense. But I think I did something all right. I think I like this one a lot. So yeah, that's it. So here's the shot right here. So I'm gonna try and hit one more spot uh, that I wanted to kind of visit. It's about 15 minutes away. Um, with the clouds or the lack of clouds, I don't know how it's gonna be. So I kind of picked my spot this morning for sunrise, which is gonna be these Choya Gardens, but I wanna at least try and make it over there. I'm gonna head there right now, check it out, uh, see if I can get anything. Uh, see if I can get anything, but if not, at least I can scout for maybe something for maybe a night shot another time, or um, yeah, just a future shot, so. So I want to show you guys real quick. I set up my long lens. I have it at about 100 millimeters and I'm shooting right through, right through these little Joshua trees right here. So what I'm doing is I wanted a kind of little cool travel shot, something like high key, which is, you know, the blown out highlight look, which is pretty popular. And what I want to do is I had it on F11, uh, set it up, set my intervalometer up. So I take a shot every five seconds and I ran up to the top of that rock that's right in between. So I framed the Joshua tree around that rock and I went up and I stood up on that rock and uh, took a couple of shots like that. So uh, like I said, it's a cool little travel shot. So. Anyway, yeah, that's, that's it. I think I'm gonna be done now. I wanted to make this kind of really short and just, you know, a quick stop in Joshua tree. I'd like to spend more time here one day, but uh, yeah, this is just gonna be a quick trip. Like I said, I'm gonna head up to Big Bear right now. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I promise you guys more videos to come. I did take a break, but I'm back now. Uh, more tutorials, more vlogs, more travel videos, you know, a little bit of everything. So, uh, all right, guys. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, I really appreciate it. And see you on the next one. Bye.